and pharmaceuticals. They're now saying uh, they're concerned confidential business information may go public if your motion passes. You know, that's just bonk. I think that's liberal spin. I think liberals are trying to, you know, stoke a lot of concern that's just unfounded. The motion itself, it's a routine motion. It has exemptions for national security issues, personal information. There's actually specific exemptions around certain types of commercial sensitivities. It, it's just standard, like, without getting into sort of, like, the, the technicalities of its standard parliamentary procedure, the taxpayers have the right to know where their money is going, who's getting it, and whether or not we're getting value for that money. So, for example, the government has purportedly spent over a billion dollars on PPE. Well, where is it? Who got it? What was the criteria used to both purchase it and distribute it? Um, this is information that journalists have been trying to get for several months now, and the, the government has been stonewalling them. So we're using Parliament to compel that information. And again, if there's no issue, if there's nothing to hide, everything's going to be great. But if there is an issue, then we have a chance to correct that on behalf of Canadians, and that is the function of Parliament. Yeah, we need to know where our money is going, and I know one contract in particular concerns the opposition parties, a $237 million contract for 10,000 ventilators given to FBI professional grade. What's that about? That is a contract that is allegedly linked to former Liberal MP Frank Bayless. There's a lot of questions surrounding that contract on whether or not um, it was appropriately awarded, uh, whether or not there was value for money in that, how it was awarded. Uh, these are all, this is the sort of thing that Parliament is designed to scrutinize, but in order to be able to do that, we need to have that type of information, those documents. And this is, you know, part of the reason why we're compelling this information through this motion. We're just saying, look, there's a lot more that we need to do to address the COVID-19 issue. Um, we're, we're obviously, we weren't prepared for the second wave. What went wrong and how can we move forward? And that's the role of Parliament. We're just doing our job. Yeah, it's really farcical. If I look at how Mr. Trudeau is governing with a sort of leader of a minority parliament who had got the lowest popular vote uh, in, the, in the history of Canada for anyone winning an election, uh, it's farcical the way he's governing and this whole idea about a federal election. That was just